Welcome to Through the Wire. Through the Wire. Today is the last podcast of the decade. Let's go. It's been our decade, I think. You think so? Nah, yeah. see, I think, <laughs> I think the decade. next decade is, because we started, what, two, three years ago? Yeah, but we closed it out beautifully. And we're about to close it out beautifully yes. with this episode. We're doing an, this decade draft. So from 2010 to the end of 2019, we're trying to put together the best team individually. Now, the way this is going to work, we already determined the order. Pierre has the first pick. I have the second pick. Derek has a third pick and Mike has a fourth pick and we're going serpentine. So Mike is going to have two straight picks. Um, we're going to basically draft in the best versions of each player from this decade. Once somebody is off the board, you cannot draft them, obviously. And we're letting the fans decide who has the best team. So we need y'all to watch this entire episode and hit us up on Instagram and Twitter, always in the description. And we I will drafting. have the best we're team. We're drafting Ooh. with that mindset. We're not going, we're not, you can't put a bunch of people who don't fit together and say because, oh, I got LeBron, Greek Freak, Rondo. John Wall. John Wall. No, it ain't working like that. We're trying to really structure teams and all of that to decide who got the best team, not who got the most MVPs, unless the MVPs match, unless you had Mm -hmm. some way, somehow, you got got LeBron. No, Steve Nash went MVP this decade. What the hell am I talking about? LeBron, KD, and uh, Steph, then sure, yeah, you're good. But But I I need people to, to really think about that this is only for this decade. Yeah. So there are some players that played the end of or the beginning of this decade, but weren't as great at the beginning of this decade as they were last decade. Like Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. But Kobe's still good, obviously. And Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Yeah. There are players like that where, like, yes, we got three or four years of Kobe this decade, but they obviously won't, weren't MVP Kobe, you know, five, four-time champion Kobe. I need them to remember that, too. Oh, I know that. Like, not, yeah. not, no, don't not. tell them that. Let them draft them trash dudes. <laughs> Let them do it. Because best believe I'm getting but players Kobe that were But Kobe was still killing. great at the beginning of this decade. Yes. Yeah. But How was long it. was that greatness? Was it like two out of those last four I think years? It was three. He said he'd pick in 2010 Kobe. That would be fine. Pick him with your first pick. I dare you. So <laughs> each player has one minute to pick their player. And if somebody says something outrageous or drafts a player randomly, we can pause the timer and just talk about the individual pick. Pierre has a first pick. We could probably guess where he's going. So after he announces his first pick, the timer sets for me, and he can talk about why he picked that first player. Understood? All right, Pierre, Team Rich Vision is on the clock. Uh, with the first pick of the all-decade draft, I'm going to draft LeBron James. Boo! Uh, it's it's LeBron. self-explanatory. The best player of the decade, um, it kind of hits you that this is the last decade that we really going to see him. Yeah. I, mean, he's I don't gonna even want to think about him not even Yeah, no he's going to roll into like, next decade, but I mean, it won't be like another... It could be a Kobe situation. We're like, yeah, he's good going into this next decade, but like in a couple years, he may not. Win that last championship yeah. like Kobe. He might. In the same uniform as Kobe. Ooh. ooh. But yeah, I'm going to take the small forward out of St. Vincent St. Mary. Um, and I'm getting Heat version. I'm get, well, I'm getting Heat version. Uh-huh. I'm getting like Cleveland, Cleveland Cavalier. You're getting and current getting Laker. Laker. Yeah, that's so, a, obviously the best player of the he's decade. the best player this decade. Mm-hmm. So, I'm surprised he didn't try to do something different. He always seems like, I'm not going to go with the most obvious. Oh, this Mello. is so obvious that you yeah. can't. You can't. Yeah, this is like the no-brainer. So I got the second pick, and this is a no-brainer too. I'm going with Kevin Durant. Come on now. I always number two. Kevin Durant. Not, don't tell him that because he definitely don't like to hit that type mm-hmm. of stuff. Uh, Kevin Durant out of Texas, you know, he's got multiple scoring titles this decade, a championship, some finals MVPs. He has undoubtedly been the second best player this decade, if you ask me. And if we're building a a team, he is a guy that you could put the ball in his hands and say, Kevin, we need a bucket. And Kevin will get you that bucket Mm -hmm. in in a plethora of ways. So my first pick in the first round is going to be Kevin Durant. No argues there. I got to go with the guy who has proven that he can beat both of those guys <laughs> in the playoffs, and I'm going Steph Curry. Stephen Curry is off the board. Third overall he pick. took my pick. That was your who pick? I, that was who I was looking to get. So give me your reasoning behind this. Talk talk me through as Mike tries to figure out who he wants now. man, you're talking about the guy that can play well off the ball, with the ball, and the team that I'm going to build around him, I feel like it's going to be full of playmakers, shooters, a good center. I feel like it's just a team where he can still be the unanimous MVP. You got to make sure you get you a player that can bail him out. Oh, trust me. I do. Okay. Okay. You going to find somebody in the later round that can do that? Yeah. All right. Mike, you're on the clock. You don't need to rush. You mm-hmm. still got, uh, let's say you got 30 seconds because I forgot to hit the, the timer. But if you had your pick. No, nah, I have my pick. Okay. I got to go with the claw. 
Kawhi Leonard. So that's a very interesting play if you ask me because obviously he's been good for a couple, not a couple years now. He's been good for like, what, five years now? Yeah, yeah. about half the decade. About half the decade. Mm-hmm. What well, makes been you... great the last yeah. two right, or three. Right, exactly. Three-time champion. Not, well, no, two-time champion yep. with two different teams. And I don't know, just the ability that he could lock up your best player and also give him buckets on the other end. Uh, not too many players really had it no more. So you got two back-to-back picks, my guy. So you're going with Kawhi Leonard and who else? You got time to think it through. Mm-hmm. I think Kawhi Leonard, while you're thinking that, I think Kawhi Leonard is a good pick. Um, but I definitely didn't expect you to take him right here, though. I definitely didn't expect you to take him right here. There are some other guys on this list that I'm hoping fall to me with the uh, in a couple picks. But you still got time. I know. It's going to be... See, the Steph Curry one would have set me up so perfectly. Yeah, because you got so Steph routes. in, yeah, blank and blank. I think the guard position is super important. I think I'm going to go on a – I'm going to take the Chris Paul away from my you second You motherfucker. I'm taking you Chris mother- Paul. I'm taking Chris Paul. Oh, my God, bro. And you remember before That's the show start started, I was like, you, none of y'all better take my point guard. Y'all should have known <laughs> damn well. You my guard. <laughs> so only right. All right. Chris Paul is off Because I was hoping to get number two. I wanted KD. You wanted KD? I mean, if y'all want, y'all can orchestrate trades. We can do whatever in this video. <laughs> it's, our, it's our draft. Nah, I'm good with my team so far. Even though I'm only two picks in. You are. But you got to wait out because Derek is on the clock now. Tell me who you think and what, what's going through your brain. I got to go, your... go with Flash. D-Wade. Dwayne Wade. So yes. Dwayne Wade has, what, two championships this decade. Yep. Obviously was an all-star pretty much every single year that he played. Um, Defensively, I think he's great. One of the best the best shot-blocking shooting guard to ever touch the court. I mean, he's a, and, he, he, and he's a guy that can help bail out Steph Curry. I was going to ask that. Is that your guy? Yep. Okay. All right. Would y'all say Dwayne Wade's prime was in this decade? Mm, no. Yeah. No. no. I wouldn't uh, say that. No. <clears throat> I'm going to look at some numbers. Um, am I, I'm, I'm on the clock, sure too, right? his prime year was like 30 points and like eight assists. 30 yeah. points was 2009, yeah. and that was like that was his season high or career high. But 2010, he averaged 26, 25, 22. He obviously won his championship with Shaq early, but he got the rings with LeBron, and a lot of those games, he was – he was the guy in that playoff round. So not a bad pick if you ask me. To pair alongside Kevin Durant. Come on, y'all. They were once teammates. James Harden. We bringing them back. James Harden is going to be my starting shooting guard on my team. Um, we going to surround James Harden with some elite defenders later mm-hmm. in here. But Kevin Durant's defense has been getting better throughout the decade. So I feel comfortable with giving James Harden that ball. And if he's struggling, obviously we got Kevin Durant. We, we can, we've seen that Kevin Durant plays nicely with other dominant guards. And we've seen that James Harden can step aside if you need him to. That is going to be my pick. Um, my pick is going to and be... And you got two back-to-back. Keep yes, that in mind. I'm going to pick Clay Thompson. Oh, that's an early pick, but yeah. he's such a valuable player. Yeah. Uh, I think Clay Thompson uh, is was the most instrumental piece to that uh, dynasty run that the Warriors had. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was referring to when I told D. Mills, you're going to have somebody that's going to bail him out. Because I feel like that's what Clay Thompson was to that Warriors team, especially before Kevin Durant ain't, got there. Ain't no third option that can get you the points he does. Yeah, and he gets them, he gets them when you need it, man. Uh, in Houston, when it felt like their back was against the wall, mm-hmm. he was the one that answered uh, to help them get Kevin Durant. He was the one that went went off in that game six in OKC. Um, and I just feel like when you talk about a guy that, that you can put next to LeBron James and you speak about he's probably the best player to play off the ball. Yep. Because he don't game. he doesn't need to dribble at all yeah, to score. About How many points did he score with, with eleven? Like dribbles? eight dribbles or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um he did this a twice. ridiculous amount. I don't I don't yeah. even know the exact number. Um yeah so when you talk about LeBron James a ball dominant guy that we can play a point guard and we just surround him with some defense and some shooting. Klay Thompson gets no better than that. Mm-hmm. Um, with my next pick, um, I'm going to probably I'm going to go with a guy that. Um, Please don't take my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be so. I'm mad. probably not gonna take your guy, okay. but I'm gonna go with a guy that had his breakout against LeBron James. Okay, which is Paul George. Okay, um, good another good another guy that mm-hmm. can shoot the ball. Uh, play well without the ball, as we seen with the uh, OKC when he was with Russ. We see we seen with the Clippers, and, and at times can have the ball in his hands too, but also can shut you down on the wing. And we big, we LeBron, Clay, and Paul George up top on that perimeter. So it's, it's, it's gonna be tough scoring against us. All right, so I am on the clock. I got a guy in mind. I got I got to look at his accolades because though this player has not been very good for the past couple seasons. Mm-hmm. 
the beginning of the decade speaks for itself. I'm going to draft Dwight Howard to be my man in the middle. Let me tell you his accolades this um, this decade. Four-time All-Star this decade. We have three All-NBA first teams. Which means that he was the best center in the league three years in a row. He got an All-NBA second team and an All-NBA third team, which means that he was a top three center half of this decade. And then he's got uh, two defensive player of the years this decade. And again, he did fall off a cliff, but he's back. He's mm-hmm. doing good now. But just the beginning run of this decade is enough for me to want Dwight Howard. Because, again, we're picking the best version of them yep. in that decade. Although, and the best yeah, version of him is, like, like, the best. Kind of the journeyman around the league as of late. But he's always been somewhat decent yes. statistically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's, a, he's never a bad pick. So I just I got my center off the board there. Um, here. You, we also have, yeah, while you're thinking that, here, here's my game plan. Mm-hmm. We can put some ISO. We're not running a Dan Tony system with James Harden here. No. But we will run some ISOs. And who who's an amazing roller to the basket, one of the best you've ever seen? Dwight fucking Howard. So that's my center that's getting that, them lobs. I got the man that can catch lobs, give me 40, uh, everything. I got Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is off the board. So tell me your team so far. Steph. Steph. D. Wade. Dwayne Wade. Anthony AD Davis. Center. Okay. All right. Anthony Davis. I hit him like fourth on my power forward list. Um, Back-to-back I picks. Think I, I think I got to bring this duo back together. Okay. I'm I'm drafting Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin and Chris Paul back together. Get him off my my board because Blake Griffin is gone. Tell me your reasoning behind picking up Blake right now. I need a big man that can do a little a versatile big man that can do a little bit of everything and work with Chris Paul. And I I just got I'm still trying to figure it out now. Derek really screwed me over. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll read you his accolades over. this decade. He's a six time yeah. All Star this decade. Um, All NBA second team three times. All NBA third team twice. And one of them was last year, one of his better years. So that's, I wouldn't say that's a bad pick. You got back-to-back, though. So tell me who's next. That's another, that's another tough one. Let me go through my list. Yeah, don't, yeah you, got, you got time. Don't feel rushed. You got 52 seconds to figure out your next pick. As I also try to figure out what's next for Team Beecham, because that's what we roll it with. I need a point guard out here, and I need like a power forward. And everybody looking at their list, everybody trying to yeah. figure out who to get, which is which you is. You also got to remember who's off the list too. Right, exactly, because Paul George is off, and I forgot to get him off my list. I oh my god, if this Ooh. dude fall, look, he just he just figured out somebody. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I'm taking Tim Duncan with my Tim. I'm taking them Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan won a championship this decade. It for may sure. be a little early, but I feel like I'm gonna snag him in front of somebody. So let me think about all the things Tim Duncan did. Let me give you his accolades, um, the best version of Tim Duncan. Well, not actually not the best version. He's got his one championship. He's got um, He's been an all-star because it's fucking Tim Duncan, of course. All-NBA first team once this decade, all-NBA third team twice. That, those are his accolades. Defensive second team three times, and that's all. But it's Tim all Duncan. All you got to do is hold down the rim. And he's, a, he's got the championship DNA. Mm-hmm. So even if he ain't amazing... He's got championship DNA. It's all you really need. Great leader. Yeah, funny all my dude. players, they coming to play. Okay. They not about that fooling around, joking around when they losing, holding hands with their team, holding hands with the opposing teams after a loss. You got Kawhi, didn't you? Yeah. So you don't good. think there's going to be a little beef there? What? Because, you know, he left He left the Spurs. No. Tim I think it would be more that. beef with CP3 and Blake. I would, oh. You think so? No. No, they're yeah. cool. Really? They, yeah. I don't think they ever really even got their chance at it. Yeah. Uh, CP3 and Blake. There's no beef between Tim Duncan and Kawhi. That's bullshit. But CP3 and Blake is where I would get a little eh, eh. Yeah. And well, I think the reason yeah, I, why they I, I highly doubt when, they, I mean, when Kawhi and Tim a, Duncan see scuffle. each other, they're going to be like, if, it's if on they site. Healthy, that. If they was healthy during their runs, I guarantee it'll be none of that. Okay. Derek, nah, they never had the small forward to me. You're on the clock, Derek. Tell me what you're thinking. Hold on, I'm looking at his numbers real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's not oh, yeah, but I just know ooh, yeah. that this guy fits perfect with my team right now. And I'm going Iggy. Iggy. I think that's an early ass pick for, for Iggy. I want him to be in my. He's going to. I'm glad he got him. I'm glad you got him too. Because he. going to get somebody else. Because he, he damn sure ain't one on my list at this point. No. Tell me your reasoning behind Iggy. The second half, remember, it's just this decade. We he was one one time All Star, I'm pretty sure, in um, 2012. But yeah. he's, he's got his Finals MVPs. I need a guy MVP. that can really guard wings, can help me make big shots at big time moments, 
And he's just a guy that's not going to really take the ball out of Steph and Dwayne Wade's hands. And you got some chemistry with him and Steph. Yeah. Everything's going to work. For me. That's a perfect pick, I think. So, so he's starting he start for you? Yes. Okay. So what's your team so far? Steph, D. Wade, Iggy, and Anthony Davis. Oh. Steph, Dwayne Wade, reason, Iggy, and Anthony only, Davis. I, I, I'm not saying nobody's saying it's a bad pick. You just said it was early because you still have oh, guys yeah. like Jimmy Butler on there. Um, you have Kobe. Yeah. You know I mean, there's some other guys, but... Hey, you, you I thought about Kobe, but I was just like, I don't want him playing my three. Dang. KB? I am on the board. I still have yet to draft a point guard. There's one point guard that could be pretty obvious, but I'm not going with him. Oh, I think I... Yeah. Um, I'm going to go... Man, this is so tough. This is so tough. Because there's two point guards here that I want. Obviously, I'm not going to end up with both. I mean, it's a possibility because you got two back-to-back picks and then I got to pick again. So I can get my starting shoot point guard and my sixth man right here out the way. Uh, I'm going Damian Lillard. Oh. I'm going to go with Damian Lillard here. Um, That's a good pick. He was third in MVP voting a few years ago. He's shown that he can be a leader. Um, I don't think I need to explain why the hell Damian Lillard is so damn good. So it's on me? It's on you. Um, you know, we talk about this decade. I- I'm going to take Kevin Love, a guy, a guy that's played Damn. with LeBron, a guy at the beginning of this decade averaged 20 and 15 on 41% shooting from three on three attempts, um, a champion. And, I mean, in this decade, he rebounded hell of the ball. Yeah. Like I said, 15 rebounds. The next season, 13. The season after that, 14. He's giving you 20 and th- 26 and 13 rebounds. And he's shooting a high percentage from the three-point line, um, 41%, 37, um, 37 again, 38. So uh, it gives me a big man who can really shoot the ball but also can rebound um, and, and can be a 20-point scorer. And, again, he's played with LeBron James, so we're going to put him right there at that power forward position. And then the next player I'm going to take, um, let me just do some research really, really quick. Um, okay, okay, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh, man, but my pick, does it fit? Does he fit? Hell yeah, he fits. What am I talking about, does he fit? No worry, you got 30 seconds to figure it out, so don't rush yourself. Okay, okay. I like I like the way everybody putting their research in. Everybody now just coming in with OBS. Because there, there was a word. I think people, I think now we know what we kind of got to do now. Yeah. Since the first couple of rounds out the way. And we've done stuff like this before in, our, in the past, doing like drafts like this. And I think mm-hmm. we, we definitely came prepared for this one. There's a guy I'm looking at. I just don't know if he fits defensively. I keep thinking that, too, about a certain guy. That's why I was thinking <laughs> about the point guard position, too. Damian Lillard's a, a okay defender, I guess. Yeah, he's not great, but he's not gonna. He's he, not terrible. Exactly. <laughs> R.I.P., you got five seconds left on the clock. We need a pick in two, one. I'm going to take another guy that LeBron played with. <laughs> and I'm going to put him at the center position. That's going to be Chris Bosh. So I just filled out my one. star lineup, and we're going to have LeBron, Clay, <clears throat> Paul George, Kevin Love, and Chris Bosh. I think defensively we're real good on the perimeter. We got two bigs that can do a little switching um, if need be. And then offensively, I don't know how you're going to stay with us because uh, both, both of my bigs can really shoot the ball. Uh, a little thing about Chris Bosh, he played one, two, three, four, five, six years of this decade uh, and they were high, They were six high years because his career had to stop short. So luckily for uh, me, it ain't like a Kobe Bryant situation where he was he f- like he fell yeah, off. Yeah, he right. just suddenly had to stop playing basketball, and he was a uh, a guy that was you know changed his game to play with LeBron. Mm-hmm. Um, but when he was by himself in Miami, he was doing he's doing putting up some good ass numbers. Yeah, doing his he's thing. He's putting up some good ass numbers. So you know, another big that can shoot, block shots, and rebound. All right. I don't know how this man is still on the board. Maybe because he's not a, he doesn't space that great. It's Giannis. Giannis is my pick right now to run my power forward position. Thought about it, but I felt like he didn't fit my team. What, bro? He has Stephen Curry on his team, and he didn't think Giannis would fit. That's why. That's like one of the I didn't want, but, He drafted but him Iggy, Iggy over Giannis. But him and Iggy, yeah. I didn't. Iggy can come hey, off the bench. Hey, if we keep him in the buck, hold on. Let me let me the look at Andre Iguodala numbers. with Iggy and Giannis is the same. Iggy's not as. I was about to say. I'm I just believe... saying pairing them together. Pairing who together? Iggy and Giannis. The... Oh, you don't have to. When you get Giannis, you don't need Iggy. Because listen, the way I'm thinking about it, I don't know who my six man is going to be just yet. Um, but there's going to be lineups where Giannis is running center for us. When it's mm-hmm. him, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Damian Lillard, and somebody else who I'm about to draft next round. 
Like, just because this is my starting five don't mean it's my closing five, because Giannis right. is big enough, Kevin Durant is big enough, and they're I both good I feel you, but that well. starting five is a little fucked. I Dwight f- Howard and Giannis spacing is a yeah. little fucked. I think they're going to be fine. <laughs> I think they're going to be fine. We're going to run Giannis in the dunker spot when he mm. needs to be. But even when, I feel like, again, my next pick is going to be super important to, to spacing and everything. They don't ever really have to play together. You know what I'm no. saying? Giannis could be my backup center. Mm-hmm. He, Dwight Howard could be my backup center. Yeah. And keep yeah. it that way. Now, mm-hmm. if you're running like that, then yeah. I know who my next guy is. And it's your pick, so go ahead and throw it out there. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is That's off the board. You, yo, Wait, who you took Mello? No, no, no I'm telling you. T- t- oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, oh. Look, he was <laughs> Carmelo Anthony is off the board now. Scoring, so that's perfect. Um, give me your reasoning behind that pick, Millie. Uh, this offensively, it's a perfect fit. I got D Wade, Iggy, AD defensively, and then I got Melo and Steph, who aren't the great defensive players, but in this decade, they were dominant offensively. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's kind of like the perfect fit for them too. Okay, Mike, you have back to back picks. This would be super important. I think you're you're finishing your start at five, mm-hmm. right? And then you get your six man right here. All right, uh, my starting shooting guard because that's the spot I'm missing my starting lineup. I'm taking Kyle Korver. Cal <laughs> Cal Corver? He Cal going for a space and shit. I need, I need somebody who he don't He wasn't on my list, but... He didn't even make my damn list. I have 50 players here. He was not one of them. Kobe's still on the board. Kobe, Kobe not. Kobe not going to work with my team. Bro. So you're looking for spacing. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You're looking for spacing. I'm looking for people that want to fit my team. So you're looking for specialists. Cal Corver, yeah. But I was thinking... You probably got him in the twelfth round because I don't. I mean, on my list. I mean, he I know, but list, I don't know. I feel like list. it's just it makes me easier to structure my team if I already have players that are already planned out. Mm. I mean, if I'm looking I mean, at it's my twelfth man, it's yeah, your team. If the players, it's a lot of players that's going to be on the board. Sure, I, it's my pick again, right? You're back to back. I got Draymond it. Green. I got Draymond Green Kyle is Corbin. off the board. Draymond Green's a great pick. I thought about him before Giannis too, honestly, because he's just he's so good. So Draymond Green Kyle is off Corbin the board. Kyle Corbin was an All Star this decade. He was a replacement for Dwayne Wade that one year when like the whole team won Player of the Week. You know what I mean? Shot forty nine percent that year from three. And then he had one year where he shot like fifty something percent, right? I don't know if it was this decade though. Yeah, it was last decade, right before this decade. Damn, 53%. you ain't getting the best version with of him. the Jazz. <laughs> you know, I'm, messing, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. <laughs> Um, Career high this decade was twelve point twelve point one. I was I was gonna say point three, but yeah. D Mills, you are on the clock. So what are you looking for? This is your six man spot. Yeah. Okay. Tell um, me what you think. So what's your current lineup? Current lineup is Steph, D Wade, Iggy, Mello, and Anthony Davis. That ain't bad. Yeah. And then I'm thinking about like a punch off the bench that could just give me some nights. Just give me thirty. Hey, it's a lot of dudes there. It's a. Or lot do I want to go with a guy that's like all energy, just like pure hustle? That's what I'm really thinking. You just about. took Draymond. Pick up Mike. Reggie Evans, bro. Pick up Reggie Evans right here, right now. You talk about energy. That's the most energetic guy I've ever seen. Nope, I got one better. <laughs> okay. Joe Kim Noah. That's. I was hoping I could get him in like the tenth round. <laughs> I was hoping I could get him in the tenth round, but. That's an okay pick because he had like four or five years this decade where he was incredible. Yep. Um, Playmaking was great. Hustle, defensive rebounding. Defensive player of the year. Yep. MVP candidate that one year. I think he ended up being in two or three All-Star games. Yep. Um, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a solid pick. That is a solid pick. Especially coming off the bench, yes. Beautiful pick. <laughs> my next guy is going to be technically my sixth man, but he's going to be running a lot with the starters. Again, I told you about... Potentially running Giannis at center, Kevin Durant at power forward, Jimmy Butler at small forward, and That's then James Harden pick. and Damian Lillard. That is a great I pick. think Jimmy Butler has been a very underrated player this decade. Yeah, when, just um, because he got off to a slow start. Yes, because he was mm-hmm. one of those dudes that took three years before he was actually But when you think about good. the ideal two-way wings, he's right Jimmy up Butler's there. Jimmy Butler's up yeah, there, literally right up, up there. there. Four-time All-Star this decade, All-NBA third team, mm-hmm. and defensive team three times. Most improved player this decade. And then even like at the end of this decade, like, talking right now, he's the leader of one of the more surprising teams in the league that is killing the game right now. He's one of those dudes. And I, again, I don't know if he's going to start. I don't know if he'll come off the bench. But he is my guy that I know can lock up some of y'all best players. And he hits his shots where you need him to. He's one of the clutchest players we've seen this decade. Easily. So that's my pick. Pierre, you're on the clock. We're back-to-back. Um... <laughs> I'm looking for my six man. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a guy that won the six man of the year. Well, let me make sure. Okay, this is a guy that won the six man of the year. No, I'm actually not going to go this route right now. This thank is a guy who's an NBA. He said, pick. thank you. Uh oh, so you know he on somebody else's board. <laughs> this is a guy. This is a guy. I can still get him. I have two better picks. Yep, I'm yep, just going with this guy first because I need to make my pick now so I can save some time to continue to look at my list. 
Uh, another guy that played with LeBron James, and Damn. you know, a guy that <laughs> a, a guy that is going to be my sixth man because that's what he wants oh, to do. You, mm, that's who I had next. Kyrie to. Irving, God. he's going to come off my bench and give us scoring. Oh he, man, we're going to let Kyrie be Kyrie. He doesn't have to come on his team and worry mm. about being a playmaker, worry about being a defensive guy. He can just score the ball and be oh. a magician that he wants to be off of the bench for us. Um, sometimes he can come in and close a game. We can have LeBron at power forward. Um, and yeah, Kyrie Irving is a champion. Uh, just to run run around some accolades, he's a champion. Um, he's everything this decade because he was drafted in this decade. Yep. So every accolade, accolade that he has came in this decade. Two time All NBA, All Star Game MVP, <sighs> Rookie of the Year. I'm all so rookie, mad. You NBA picked him. I'm so mad. Time All Star. Uh, so we're gonna go with Kyrie Irving. And then for my next pick, I'm going to just do a little lucking real quick. You got one minute, so you good. In case y'all want to chit-chat about who y'all was going to draft. Or There's still wants. a guy on the board. that I, People are going to be so mad nobody has drafted this dude. I know, I know exactly right? who no, you're talking about. No, not even Kobe. No, I know exactly who you're talking about. You know exactly Derrick who you're talking about. Not even Derrick Rose. exactly who you're talking about. Russell Westbrook. Russell, it is Russell, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. I want Russell, the but they don't fit what I Bro, got. Bro, exactly. I'm, same I'm, here. I promise you, we did a draft for something like that. We were picking players, and Russell was never picked. Yeah. did. It's always Russell just never picked. He's just such a hard player to have fit around. Around another team of great players. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I had average and below average players on my team, Russell Westbrook would be a guy that I want to leave them. Mm-hmm. But when I have people that won multiple MVPs, this and that, I don't want him being my seventh man. You know what I'm it's saying? A, yeah, you don't want that strong personality. But if that man drops to the 10th round or ninth round, I'm going to draft his ass yeah. because he's too damn good to be that low. Right. My next pick is going to be DeMarcus <clears throat> Cousins. Uh, two-time All-NBA player, four-time All-Star, a guy that as well was drafted in this decade. Um, a, a monster. The only thing that he didn't do um, with the Kings was win, and that, that wasn't his fault. We're talking about a guy that was giving you 27 and 11, 24 and 13, 22 and 12 within the first five years of his career. He can shoot the three as a big, big size. He's shooting 35%, 37%, 35, 36 from three. So I'm taking that. Give me, give me, give me a punch of Demarcus Cousins and Kyrie off of the bench. We still young. Oh, you gonna get a punch? We, we mobile. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> and a tech. <laughs> we out here. All right, I'm next, but we're going to take our first break. All right, so I am on the clock now, and here's here's my thinking. I need a big that can come in, help space the floor. Um, I guess could be a secondary playmaker off you, my bench. Is, I was about to draft him. Um, can I guess it? Yeah, go ahead. It's out of Florida University, Al Horford? No, it is not Al Horford. That's a good pick, though. That was a good. That okay. was a guy that was on Marcus my list. Saul. It's not Marcus Saul okay. either. It is a guy that he's similar to Giannis where, like, his accolades are like the last two to three years is when he hits stardom. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Cole Jokic. Okay. Nikola Jokic is going to be my pick to come off my bench and be my, my backup center. I like because, it. Because yep. we can run some lineups where it's him and Giannis. Yeah. Uh, that 4-5 pick and roll can be ridiculous. Either way, he can be the ball handler. And yeah, he can space the floor. Great uh, playmaker because per- basically he's going to be my backup point guard, mm-hmm. honestly. I like it. So Jokic is my seventh man on my roster. Derek, you are on the clock. Um, let's see. Still some great players out there, yes. man. This de- doing this research, like, man, I forgot how good this player was later in his career. Uh, you may not end up on my team, Mr. Uh, Darren Williams, but I had to throw you on the list. Like, if you... Yeah, he was on my list. Yeah, I had to throw you on the list. But uh, I think I'm going to go... You have I'm going to go with Kobe. Kobe. Because I feel like he could definitely play in my starting lineup as well. Mm -hmm. If, like, Melo doesn't have it going, I could slide Iggy to the four, and I could put Kobe in at the three, Mm -hmm. and then we could run that lineup. Because defensively, Kobe still had it in this decade, and so does Iggy. So I'm not really worried about that. And they both rebound the ball well, and I got Anthony Davis. Kobe is off the board. I like the idea that we all not thinking, like, hey, this is my starting five, this is my second five. We, like, interchanging players and trying to fit the best possible lineups for the situations. I like Kobe being off the board right now. Mike, back-to-back picks. All right, I'm about to draft my sixth man, and I need instant offense off the bench. Yep. So I'm picking Kemba Walker. Ooh! Ooh! Kemba did not make my point guard list. It's like he just forgot. Mine either. Not that he's not good enough to be here, obviously, he just slipped my mind completely. Because when yeah. you think of this wow. decade, you have to put Rondo. You still have to give some credit to Nash. Yeah. Derrick yep. Rose was MVP. But I, don't, I need someone he who got to worry about nothing about defense or nothing. All he got to do is come in and orchestrate the offense and get his bucket. And that's your sixth man. That's my sixth man. I like man. that. I thought you were going another route when you said instant offense. I thought you were going man. J.R. Smith. Oh, yeah. I'm good. That's instant shooting. <laughs> <laughs> but you got back to back. Who's that second pick? Got a whole minute? I think don't I rush might yourself? go for another big. 
Is there, there's some bigs I mean, on the board. Because sometimes maybe I, I have Tim Duncan come off the bench if I need a little bit more stats. Because I got Blake Griffin. He was like 35 room. years old, so maybe he gets some yeah. rest. I think he, he might be coming off the bench. I think I'm going to draft Marcus Saul and have him start. I like that. I like Marcus Saul because even right now at 1,000 years old, Marcus Saul is such an impactful defender. Who cares if he's mm-hmm. what his offense is? His defense is enough to like – he is definitely one of the best defending players and of he, this decade. And he's a very good passer for a big. Mm-hmm. With Blake Griffin, he's going to throw him too many roll passes, lob passes. He's going to catch Blake Griffin when the other big's lacking. Facts. I like that pick. Derek, you're back on the clock. Uh, let's see, man. Why are you doing that? I'm looking. I'm looking at the. I'm at the point now where like, man, I got a shit ton of point guards on my board and not enough of the other players. So I gotta do my own research. Like, who am I? F- I feel like Damn. I'm forgetting some players I got from this one decade. Small four. That's. Fucking Paul Pierce. Let me okay. I know the best way to do this research. To be honest, I think my small forward off the bench is gonna be Danny Granger. Danny Granger. Oh wait, hold. He was a twenty. He was a twenty-four point score. What the fuck? Hold on, hold. He was still a twenty-four point score. Then after that, he was twenty. No, he wasn't. Does that count? That's two thousand nine. Half of that season is in the the previous year. That's not this decade. This decade is two twenty ten. So you got the twenty ten version, which he, he's averaging twenty, which is still decent. That was his last healthy year too, because after that he played sixty two games, five games, forty one, twenty nine. So you were looking for like a wing player that can help you score. Yeah. Okay. There's some. Uh, well, actually, I don't even have any more wing players on my board. I got guards and I got bigs. Like the wing players, where the, where the hell is everybody? All right. It's really not that. Bad. Oh, I'm back on the board. I am back on the board. Oh man, Danny so, Granger. Danny Granger's a wild pick, if you ask me. That is wild. <laughs> Danny Granger, even if you was getting a 24 point one, that's still a wild pick. Danny Granger. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my backup guard position right now. Cause I feel confident with Jokic as my backup center. I don't need to worry about my power forward. There's two guys that is on that's in my head right now. Both great scores. Quick research. Um, both great, great scores. <sighs> I think I'm going with Bradley Beal. I think Bradley Beal is going to come off my bench and be um, some off. offense. Let me take him off my list. Because right now we have Jimmy Butler, who's, a, who's good. He like, Bradley Beal is instant offense. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He could have low-key came off my bench and yes. be – because he could be a point guard. Exactly. He He's could be instant a point offense. guard in this league. And Jimmy Butler could be our defense. And Jokic could be our playmaker. But Bradley Beal is going to be my pick here. Pierre, you are on the clock with two back-to-back picks. These are super important because these are like the defining pieces. Like Everybody knows you start – everybody start five is going to be fire. But, like, can you fit the team around them coming off the bench where you interchange the lineups is super important. So back-to-back for you. As I also try to do some quick research to figure out who the hell am I forgetting about this decade because I thought I did everything I could to, like, put great players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is a guy, a wing player. He got that Michael Herb uh, archetype body type. <laughs> and this decade... This guy's added to my list. There it is. All right. Paul Pierce. No, hell no. I know who it is. You know who it is? Actually, oh, I think I, I hope it's not the same guy. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to draft this dude. He, just, he deserves to be drafted. I, I hope somebody exactly does draft him. Can I, can I cut someone? You can make a trade, but Pierre, you got five seconds for this next pick. <laughs> he said, can I cut somebody? <laughs> can you cut somebody? Be like, yeah, just take my pick. No, my guy. <laughs> and who you thinking? Give me... See, this is what I get conflicted at mm-hmm. because um, Allen Iverson was an all-star this year. I mean, this decade is what we forget, but I'm not taking him. Okay. I'm going to take um, Mono Ginobili. Mono Ginobili, Ginobili, Ginobili won a championship, okay. six man of the year award this decade. Um, you know, and he's coming off my bench, and that's just that's the role we want. He's a sound that's exact, player. Yep, that's exactly what he do. That's just who he is. He actually was an All Star on the decade 2010. Mm-hmm. So we're getting one of the best versions of him: 17 point score, uh, five assists, four rebounds. So I, I'll take Manu. Bring some championship leadership. Some guy that can you know be there with LeBron and and add to what, what we already have. Um, and then my next pick, I got to do some research for, research on. Yep, you're on the clock. You got one minute to figure it out. I, I'm next, and I'm going to tell y'all while he's doing his research, what's my mind segment on the two? Honestly, I don't want to say it because he's still on the board. He could be like, oh, that's good. Let me snag that. But um, I'm looking for another guard, my backup point guard for my next pick. I got a, I got a guard in mind. You got I a guard could, in mind? Because in all honesty, 
I think in my second unit, I can have Kobe be the ball dominant guard. And this guy can also handle the ball. And both of them, I feel like, can play well off the ball. So. Now I'm interested who you watch. Who, who is it? Jeff T? That's, yeah. that's a Derrick Miller pick. Rose. No. Derrick Rose does not play really good off the ball. It's true. 20 seconds left for your pick, P. I'm interested. I really wish I could cut Danny Granger. Um. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Damn. He just picked him. Just picked his ass up. So I. Uh, so I got after this, I'll have what three more picks. Give me, um, give me Dirk. Dirk. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Let me use the last ten seconds just to clarify. Oh no, dog! That time it didn't been out. <laughs> <laughs> give me Lamarcus Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge is a good pick. He, he's definitely one of the next guys on the list to go. Um, been one of the more consistent players the entire decade. He gives you 20 a night. That's a good pick. I just think yeah. the Bulls traded him, man. Uh, For who? For Tyrus. One, two, times. three, four, five, six, seven. So he's a seven-time All-Star this decade. Uh, 21. Oh, well, not 21. I'm sorry. That's a, I'm doing a disservice. He's giving you 22, 22, mm-hmm. 23, 23 with 10, 11 rebounds a night. So give me the markers off my bench. With the, my ninth pick, he's a still on the board. I'm going with Russell Westbrook. I'm going to draft him right here, right now. NBA, NBA um, MVP, abs in the triple double. What has it been three years now? Was it three years or was it two years? Abs in the triple double for two years. This, um, <laughs> and then with this second unit, I still think he can be a good point guard because he will have Bradley Beal. He's going to have Jokic. You can still space for him. Um, Jimmy Butler's an above average three point shooter. You think he's going to like having Damian Lillard start over him though? It ain't about he that. He's going to be mad at that. He's going to be mad about that. You're right. He's going to be mad about he gonna that. Be mad but at guess that. what? We got OKC Big Three back together. I don't know if you peeped that either. We got KD. We got James Harden. We got Russell Westbrook. And we might get that fourth dude too if he's still up there in the 12th round. Maybe. Derek, you're on the board. All right. This guy's been, uh, I think it's one, two, three, four All Stars this decade. Okay. Uh, I'm going ISO Joe. Oh, yeah. Was that's that what, what I was thinking, thinking about. about. That's what I was yeah, thinking about. That's, that's what I thought you were too. thinking about, Yeah, too. that's what I was thinking about. That's not a bad pick. Four-time All-Star. He has some playoff moments, too, um, against that Bulls team. But I think uh, Nate Robinson put that all at rest because Nate Robinson was that man for a little bit. That's not a bad pick. He's definitely one of the wing players that I forgot about, but I did add him. Um, I Mike, definitely forgot about him. You got back-to-back. I'm picking another six-man like dude. Okay. Jay Crosso. Kemba Walker and Jay Crosso coming off. They finna like, like whoever is on the court. Uh, and guess what? Whoever they gonna get light, light their ass. We put defense around them. So Jamal Crawford, obviously, he's a six man, so he don't have any all star appearances. That's mm-hmm. not what he does. But he did have years where he averaged 19 points per game, 16, 16, 14. And the fact that this man still don't have it, I know he's old as hell. Yeah, yeah. But he, he had his moments. He had a 50 point game he last season. He had a season, couple right? 50 point The games. final game of the season, he dropped 50. And, and I thought that was his, like, sign me. Like, I, type I, I still can hoop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess I guess it, I guess not. Yeah, last game of the season against Dallas Mavericks, he put up fifty one points on sixty percent shooting, seven threes. That's a crazy ass stat line. But yeah. nobody picked them up. You got back to back though, Mikey. Who you got next? I'm. I need a wing. I know the wings are kind of the wing. The wing is thin, man. It's thin. And it's like it's I feel like thin. if I pick a wing that makes sense. It's gonna be looked at bad because he's not no superstar, all star like that. Don't have to, don't even yeah, worry just about go that. go with what fits your team. This yeah. would have been a great time to get Cal Clover. It would have been Sacks. seven oh. rounds ago. <laughs> go ahead, grab David Lee. He was an all star this decade. No. Zach Randolph was an all star this decade. They not wings though. Oh, facts. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, you got. Let's say you got twenty seconds left because I forgot to hit the timer. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere. This is a wild pick. But he fits Take your my time, team. Mike. Don't no. go wild, bro. <laughs> no, he, let him go he wild. He fits shit. exactly what I need. He fits exactly what I need. Nice three and D. He don't got to do nothing. I'm picking Trevor Ariza. You know what? Okay. Well, he's yeah. been well coming off your bench is not for bad. three okay. and D. He's been consistent as they come. That's. I think that's fine. But now, Derek, you're on the board and talk me through your your mind because I need to do some research. What's your my team, damn. What's stuff. your team looking like, Derek? All right. So the start of Steph, D Wade, Iggy, Melo, AD. Then I got Noah, Kobe, Danny G, and Joe Johnson off the oh, bench. Oh, yeah, you got to worry about Joe T. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up Danny Granger. That's crazy to me. I wouldn't. I would have literally never thought about I would have thought, thought about Danny Granger. There really wasn't many wings, and I said, I said he was still a 20-point scorer. There are some recent wings 
that are in the game now that are better than him. True. Like, I, I throw one out because I don't care if you take him. Right? Like Victor Oladipo. I would take Victor Oladipo this decade over Danny Green. That's not a bad pick. Um, Damn. Are there any bigs available? You got 20 seconds. Nah, that's what it's a surplus at. It's a lot of bigs. Yeah, it's hella bigs. It's like, hella actually, bigs. <clears throat> I'm going to put Noah and Zach Randolph together. Your team is too big. <laughs> this seems like you trying to fit, build an MMA team. <laughs> <laughs> Those are three guys. Those are two guys that Kobe would love to play with. Noah and Zach Randolph because they just work hard. <laughs> he he going to hate it when they in his way when he on a post. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. So that was That's fine. But he don't love them, though, because they just going to get the rebound. True. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the board. Derek, you are funny, bro. I got to look at this player. I don't want to draft this dude, but he's a wing player. Don't draft. He was him. an all-star. Don't three, draft. He was an all-star three Don't times. Draft. Don't what? draft. Is it gonna ruin my please, reputation? I'm, no, no. Please say his name. That ask, does he fit your team at all? Paul Pierce. No shit. There's no other wings though. That's why I say you might have to just go for fit at this point. Oh my god, man. Um, Dirk is off the board, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just didn't get him off my list. You know what? I'm going Al Horford here. Uh, Al Horford is small enough that he can run my four. Or Jokic can run the four. It don't matter. They're both guards, I mean, centers or bigs that can space, that can create uh, Al Horford. Al Horford. And then Al Horford can be that defensive anchor on the second unit. I guess. Like, that's that's where we're at at this point. We're like, I guess that's a good pick. Mm-hmm. I don't, I no, actually, no, I don't I'm sorry. Him. Dirk is on the board. Oh, you didn't take him. So you him. can go back. You can go back because I did take L.A. I'm right, because you I, you said it and then you went yeah, back. Yeah, okay, so okay, I'm okay. sorry for that misunderstanding. But I, I can't cut Danny Granger. No, because you... Oh, you, hell no. That was all on you. <laughs> yeah, you you didn't even say that. You didn't, you said that three picks after. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't say it at the moment. Like, oh, hell no. You so, said that three So before. if that's the case, I will I will take Dirk over Al Horford. So Al Horford is still on the board. Al Horford okay. is still on the board. Dirk is going to play my four. And at the beginning of this decade, he was 32 years old, but he also won a championship. And he was a four-time All-Star. Five-time, if you count that legacy one from last year. Was, let's say four. We're not counting the legacy. Four-time All-Star. Um, always shot officially from the three. That's what we do. Shot forty one percent from three, forty two percent from three, thirty nine percent, thirty eight percent. He continuously like he can stretch that floor, and that's what we're here for. We don't care if his knees don't work no more. Uh, you have two back to back picks, P. Oh, it's on me. Yep. Um, we talking about wings and, and wings and things. So <laughs> wings and things. They're wings and wings things. Wings and things. Uh, I'm gonna take a guy who. Excuse me. Um, you know, when you look at an accolade type thing for him, he doesn't jump off the page at you. But I think when you talk about sound basketball players, you can put in a, in a situation he can kind of fit almost anything. I'm going to go with Gordon Hayward. Uh, I one thought time about it. He crossed my mind. One time all-star, real solid. You know what I mean? Probably won't give you something crazy, but I feel like coming off of our bench, uh, playing with a guy like Kyrie, you know, who that's can, who I wanted to cut Danny Granger for. Who who can who can make some plays? You got Mino. You know, I'm just putting him around some other good basketball minds, uh, and and I, and I like him. So I'm, I'm gonna take Gordon Hayward. And then this is the next one is gonna be your 11th pick, correct? Mm-hmm. So we're we're building the the bottom of our roster. Um, the way I'm thinking about it is just guys that can potentially come in and get you buckets, or no, I, spe- so, I think it's specialists, yeah. right? Somebody yeah. that can that's great at one thing, and um. I'm so surprised this power forward is still on the board because he looking was so at, good this decade. I'm looking at guys that are just talented right now. Okay. I want somebody that if all hell breaks loose, we can just bring this dude. He like yes. an X Factor type yep. guy. Yep, that's okay. what I'm doing. With this next pick, I'm going to just take uh, – you took Russell Westbrook? Um, I said, hey, I'm Russell Westbrook is off the board. Um, give me a guy – give me the youngest MVP of all time. Give me Derrick Rose. That's a good pick. Um, I have my team – Built out at this point, so it isn't like you know uh, we can put Derrick Rose in any situation he wants to thrive in. Uh, but he was an MVP. He had the Bulls back into that upper echelon tier of potentially winning a championship, only to be knocked out by probably one of the greatest teams put together in in, in that time, which mm-hmm. was the Miami Heat. So it took a three headed monster of three Hall of Famers to really stop Derrick Rose and, and a bunch of uh, glue guys um, in his prime. So. Give me Derrick Rose. He's not a guy, you know, he's had an up and down decade, but at, at the beginning of this decade, he was at his. He was know, the highest. man, yeah. And uh, at this point in the draft, 
It's hit or miss. Exactly. You know what I mean? So he's my 11th pick. Everybody else is set in stone. And we could put out lineups in the third quarter uh, if need be with Derrick Rose. We can run the show. We can put a Derrick Rose out there and surround him with a Gordon Hayward and a, and a Manu and Marcus, LaMarcus and Cousins. Or we can put him out there with, with shooters and let him play the LeBron James role. Um, so it gives us some, some you know, some uh, flexibility down the stretch. Okay. It's my pick. Um, there's a few guys that are on my mind. Um, I'm looking at my guard situation. I have Damian Lillard. So I have you Russell. did take Dirk. I did take Dirk. Take him off I have Damian team. Lillard, Russell Westbrook as my point guards. Neither of them are superb defenders. Russell Westbrook can get nitty and gritty when it needs to, but he's not a great defender. So I think this third point guard can be my defending point guard. I'm going with Cal Lowry. Okay, Cal Lowry. Okay, good pick. Cal Lowry's going to be my 11th man here. Um, NBA champion, Cal Lowry. If I know that he can he can be there for big-time moments. It's just like a lot of those big-time moments happen to be against LeBron, who's like the biggest big-time moment player ever. Uh, but that, that would be my 11th pick. And that was tough because there's, there's still John Wall. Um, there's still Steve Nash, who had two years this decade where he's an all-star. He led the league in assists. And he led a team to the conference finals this decade. So, Steve Nash, I'm just putting that in y'all brains if y'all thinking about Steve Nash. I'm not drafting his ass no more. I'm not either. But, um, but he has some years. D Mills, you're on the clock. One minute. So, this guy, it might be late, but I feel like he can definitely start again. Tony Parker start still in there. next yeah, to thanks. Anthony Davis, and they wouldn't. it wouldn't be a problem. I'm going to go Carl Anthony Towns. I feel like he's really been hooping this decade, and I feel like him and AD. He's only hooped this decade. I know. <laughs> so I feel like he's too talented to not pick. That's an interesting pick because I was thinking about players like that as well. Like, does their their play good enough to make my list? So players like him, Joel and B was another guy mm-hmm. that like I thought about. Like, man, he's been, he's been great you for. Picked up Jokic. I picked up Jokic. Yeah. Right? He's been but very similar to like Joel and B. Facts as far as like the time frame. But the reason I pick up Jokic, I just thought he fit my team more. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah, players like that are very interesting because we ranking players this decade. They got to be mentioned because they've been yeah. good for three, four years of this decade. It's a good pick. Mike, these are yeah, last two picks, I, right? I think it's good that those players are, aren't mentioned at the beginning. Yeah. This is a back 11, pick. 12 man, yeah. So. Back to back picks to end your team, Mike? I'm debating if these picks really mean something. Like, I just they might, may not mean a they, single they really might. They really might, but oh, they really might not. But it's too, It's a lot of ways you can go about these. Like, they could be versatile. Yep. Like, you can plug them in anywhere. Mm-hmm. They could be the X factor, or they could just be, like you said, a defensive dude. I don't know who to get yet. Well, you got 20 seconds because you just talked. To <laughs> you didn't, he, he wasn't even looking at you. He was talking. I so I he so he legitimately at. set his phone down. There, there's a word where, like, these are your 11th and 12th men, so they may not even touch the floor for you on a lot of the nights. Give me JJ Reddick. So you got Cal Corver and JJ. That would have been such a better pick. When than, you think. than Cal Corver? Yeah. He's, I think he's a better fit than Cal Corver, too, honestly. But it's your, it's your team. You know, it's your team. He ain't never missed a playoff, so you ain't got to worry about that until well, maybe nah, this year. We're not missing no playoffs. Um, but you got back-to-back, though, so you got to keep thinking because you got one more one more spot on your squad. Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. That's a specialist. That is 100% a specialist. That's not a bad one, either. <laughs> it's not, so you picked up your another shooting specialist and a rebounder specialist. D Mills. Your very last pick of this decade draft. This is a young man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's extremely talented. Uh-huh. And Steph has ankle in- issues. That's and I feel like this is a guy who can come in, play, make, handle the ball, score, just like Steph would do. I'm going Luca. I knew he was going with Luca. <laughs> Bro, he's played a he's year. Played, he's played a year and a half. You're taking he, him over John Wall? He's never played in the playoffs. John he's Wall, Mike good. Conley, Steve Nash, Darren Williams, Jason Kidd. Hypothetically, knock on wood, but he can twist his ankle tomorrow and never be the same. He's still good. <laughs> he's still that good. The that, player, the player that we've seen, the player that we've seen this decade is very good. We've seen we a year and a half. Year we've year seen half. nothing. Yeah, we've seen nothing really. I mean, he's been great, but I'm saying you, you're saying this decade. Like, I mean, yeah, but the, the, the year and a half. <laughs> right. seen. Trey Young, if you're trying to get somebody like Steph Curry, you might as well pick up James Wiseman. Shit, just keep just going, get younger and younger and younger. What we've seen he from the future. <laughs> what we seen from the Mello, <laughs> that hundred million dollar contract that he got offered tells me that he's the next big star. And like, I ain't really want D Will no. <clears throat> I mean, all right. my last pick. He he has zero All Star All Stars. That's going to change this year, though. But no, it's not because the year ends today. Today is literally the last year of the <laughs> last day of oh. the year. So you're looking at 2020 already. 
<laughs> My last pick, I'm going defensive specialist. Two-time defensive player of the year, back-to-back. We're going to Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is going to be my very last pick. May not even touch the floor for us, but I know if, if it's a one-point game, we're about one, and they trying to throw a lob, I put Rudy in to guard the paint, and we're going to win that game. Rudy Gobert is my very last pick. And it ends with me? It ends with you. Very last pick of this draft. Hmm. Kyle Anderson? <laughs> Why is Kyle Anderson's name come up twice today? That's such a weird person. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's only right that we close out our team with a 7-3 monster. A guy that, you know, has been an all-star this decade, can block some shots, can shoot some threes. Um, and I'm going to go with Sir Syke. Uh, let me get let me get Chris Dasperzingis, though. I'll take Chris Dapps. Chris Dasperzingis is the I, very I last pick. I don't know nobody, oh, nobody else. Coaches. So, actually, you get one more pick. You get to pick the first coach. Mm-hmm. Coaches. God, I didn't even do research on coaches, honestly. Oh, I got an idea, though. If this dude ain't off the board. Oh, what the hell? I'm good. I got the second pick. If he picked person A, I'm picking person B. Simple. Simple. Oh, or sh- are y'all thinking about it like, hey, I know this guy's a great coach, but maybe he don't fit my team type stuff? I thought I think about somebody who's going to fit well with Chris Paul. Mm. Yeah. Or just I mean, hire Chris Paul. Or hire Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about a coach that can handle a stacked team. Coaches that's been in that situation. Well, you give got me twenty um, seconds. I'm gonna take. Shit, we're gonna go with the mold. Give me Eric. Uh, give me, give me Eric Spoelstra. That's another okay. guy give that's been with LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, you that's, like Rich Paul out here. Yeah. Uh, Eric Spoelstra can deal with the superstars. He can deal with LeBron James. And even when he didn't have superstars, like um, the last couple of years, he's all he's always had um, solid teams. And but bringing on Eric Spoelstra, we also bring Pat Riley. So we get that conglomerate going. So you make we're gonna have all trades. Yeah, Chris Stasperzingis, you're gonna have a six pack. Lamarcus Aldridge, you're gonna have a forty inch. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the benefit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Demarcus Cousins, we gonna watch your body fat percentage. So we we gonna we gonna do what we do. So give me Eric Spoelstra to lead this team uh, from the bench, and he's a guy that can shut the fuck up and let LeBron be the coach sometimes. Yeah. My my coach. Is, I don't think Greg Popovich would have been able to do. That's that's a good that's a good point. That's why my pick is a guy that has only coached stack teams in his Steve NBA Curry. coaching career. I know he's laid back. He ain't saying shit on the bench. He going to let the, the players pick the plays. He going to let the players do what they want. That is Steve Kerr. Also, yeah. Steve Kerr is actually a good coach, as we saw this season, because they're winning games, even though they're god-ass off on paper. Steve Kerr is my, is my pick. Is it me? It's on you. Uh, I'm going Doc. I got Doc Rivers. <laughs> Tom Thibodeau. <laughs> Your starters would have still been playing 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Superstars off the bench. Tom, what would you say? Doc, Doc Rivers. Rivers. Great pick. Great pick. He um stand the test of time, man. He's been in the league for he's been in the league for 40 years, including his playing career. And he's probably got 40 more, it seemed like. He's a great coach. He always adapts with time, yep. which is very rare for NBA coaches. Doc he just needed he pick. just needed a new voice box. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> 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 Mike, very last pick of the coach. I got to go with Greg Popovich. Yeah, I'm glad you did because he put deserves him. to be a coach. Yeah, no. I, I was surprised that he actually fell to the fourth spot. Mm-hmm. And I got him and Kawhi back. Tim Duncan's him. Oh, back facts. Together too. Yeah. Got yeah. a little chemistry. And I think he will work well with Chris Paul just because they know at the end of the day, they're just trying to get the job done. So, I don't know. Uh-oh. You Doc Rivers. I mean, not Doc Rivers. I mean, Chris <clears throat> Paul and Pop. I don't, Chris Paul don't really like to listen. Are you sure about that? Hey, that's why I say you don't like Doc, listening to dumbass. Because him and Doc Rivers, they that's there was rumored that him a, and Doc had beef. There's a respect like they was, for them. I think I, I everybody think, has a little bit of respect for. I think Greg he's hot headed on court, but I think he can. I think he'd be able to realize that Doc. I mean, Doc, well, he realizes with Doc, and he can realize this with Greg Popovich that they're great coaches. Yeah, that's something that has to be understood. It's like having a having a argument with a coach. That doesn't mean that the coach or the player doesn't listen. That just mm-hmm. that's just like if we have an argument on here. That don't mean we fucking hate each other. It's just you're both working to win a championship. That situation, I, I they better had arguments. That team was had all the, the potential in the world to win a championship, and they didn't. So of course it was frustration, and they still had success. Yeah. So we're gonna take one last break. We're gonna talk about our teams. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna ask each one of y'all who has the best team that you can't pick yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll, well see. Well, I would need to hit a roster. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go through everything for the people at home that haven't been really paying that much attention. So we'll be right back. Okay, so this is how we're going to do things. I'm going to give every person one minute to pitch to me their team and why their team is the best. Okay? Who wants to go first? Anybody want to volunteer? Yeah, forward. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, P. You got one minute. Um, I just think that my team is, is everything that you want. Wait, actually, let's restart that. 
You tell me your roster, then I'll start the timer, and you tell me why it's good. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, point guard, LeBron James. Shooting guard, Clay Thompson. Small forward, Paul George. Power forward, Kevin Love. Uh, center, Chris Bosh. Um, Six-man, Kyrie Irving. Then we have DeMarcus Cousins, Manu Ginobili, LaMarcus Aldridge, Gordon Hayward, Derrick Rose, and Chris Stapps Przingis. Um, I, I like my team just because we have everything I think you want. We have a uh, big man that can protect the rim. We have big man that can space. We have guards that can switch and wings that can switch on the perimeter. And we got guys that can give you buckets in many different ways. We had a, a floor general like LeBron James. I, I think any team that's led by LeBron James with the pieces that he he needs and he likes that fits him is an unstoppable team. We've seen that. He damn near brought that old-ass Cavalier team uh, to, to winning in Oracle in game one when the pieces barely fit him. So, I mean, you give him pieces that he wants and other superstar players and you give everybody a role on a LeBron James team is good. And, you know, you Clay Thompson, you're going to shoot and defend. Paul George, you're going to score and defend. Chris Bosh, you're going to score and defend and space the floor. You give everybody a clear-cut role. Kyrie, you can be you and score. It's clear. And then we have Eric Spolster, who's de- dealt with all-star uh, headed teams. Uh, he's also dealt with teams that wasn't as special as those teams and still has success with them, which proves that he can coach. And he's a championship coach. So. That was exactly one minute. Good team, if you ask me. All right, so my team is Kevin Durant. Oh, well, let's go in order. Point guard, Damian Lillard. Shooting guard, James Harden. Small four, Kevin Durant. Power four, Giannis. Dwight Howard center. But again, star fact can, can vary. Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jokic, Bradley Beal, Russell Westbrook, Dirk. Then our last two roster spots were Kyle Lowry and Rudy Gobert. And then we have Steve Kerr as our coach. Now, the reason why I like my team so much is because we have the OK3 OK core, mm-hmm. right? We have the three guys that when they were as young as can be, James Harden Beer weren't even full yet, got all the way to a championship and battled against one of the greatest teams in NBA history. We got those three dudes together, but now they're in their goddamn prime. We got so many, champ- so many MVPs between this dude, we can't even count them. And not to mention Giannis is an MVP now. You know what I'm saying? We got defensive player of the years, and then we have like off-court leaders and like Jimmy Butler. We got guys that can give you buckets like Bradley Beal, and we got old-ass Dirk who may not play a single minute, but we know he's a good locker room guy, and he knows what it takes to beat LeBron James. That's the reason why my team is the best. All right, so Coach Doc Rivers, I got Steph at the one, D-Wade at the two. It get the three, Melo at the four, and then I got Anthony Davis at the five. <laughs> Bro, I, time final, time out. As you were reading your team, I looked at both of them, and like as you were reading, Mike was like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Because <laughs> I don't know. It's just that the, the D weights to Iggy, Iggy Dollar kind of threw me off. Yeah. We packing the paint on your team, my guy. Well, keep, keep it going. Wait, why would you pack the paint? We gonna have Iggy and we gonna box in one. We gonna box in one step. We gonna box in the playoffs. I got Melo and Anthony Davis. I just seen Melo playing. <laughs> yeah, but you got it's prime. But, but it's prime Melo. We're talking about prime New York Nick Melo, so oh, yeah. that's, pass, that's different. So. Uh, yeah. He's an ISO guy, though. How do yeah. you ISO with Iggy? Let him finish, let him finish yeah. the same. Yeah, he, he'll get the job done. Um, yeah, fuck you, won't. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Chuck him, Noah. Kobe. Danny. Joe Johnson. Danny D- Green? Danny Green? <laughs> no, Danny Green. Danny Green. Danny Green, 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 <laughs> Green would have been a lot yeah. better, honestly. Danny Green was on my list. Yeah, he was on my list, too. I mean, Zach Randolph, I got Cat, and I got Luca. I forgot you drafted Zebo too. Okay, tell me why so, you have the best team at the table. Like y'all was arguing that Melo is an ISO guy. I could put Cat in at that fourth spot, and then I got a, the twin towers of Cat and Anthony Davis, and I got Iggy, D-Wade, stuff. You're not going to sag off Cat. You would put Cat at the four instead of Anthony Davis at the four? You know, you could, put both, you, could, four. you could put both I mean, of them in the, on the same court at the same time. And then um, I got Kobe off the bench. We already know what he brings to the table. We got D-Wade. Steph is a unanimous MVP. I got three guys on this team that have won MVP. They know what to win, and I got a championship coach in Doc Rivers. And then I also got a guy who's 22, arguably one of the best players in the league this year, Luka Doncic. Hasn't been an all-star team. All right. Mike, tell us your roster and tell us why your team is the best. Okay, so I got my coach is Greg Popovich. My point guard is Chris Paul. Shooting guard is Kyle Korver. My three is Kawhi. My four is Blake Griffin. My center is Marcus Gasol. Off the bench, we got Tim Duncan, Kemba Walker, Jamal, Craw- Jamal Crawford, Draymond Green, Trevor Reza, J.J. Redick, and Andre Drummond. You got a very underrated team. I was liking your team, and then some, some shit threw me off. But I, I do no, like I, your team, though. I, I like know. that you I told you, I, I really was trying to bank in you know, on coming off Steph Curry. That's what I was, so that's what I was like. I'm glad I don't got the first pick. <laughs> yeah. I picked up Chris Paul, and from that, I knew my offense was going to be like, yeah, they're going to be more... It. 
they're going to be more like sets, especially because all everybody drafted a very good defender. So I'm mm-hmm. not expecting everybody to go ISO somebody and go get a bucket. Right. So we're going to be running mostly through like elbows and posts with Blake Griffin, Marcus Saul, and Kawaka post up too. Chris Paul is going to orchestrate everything, and then Kyle Korver is moving around all over the court. That's just a starting five. Then when we do need more offense, we got Kemba Walker and Jamal Crawford to come off the bench and create shots. Draymond Green, Trevor Reza, those guys are just plugged coming in, and they can be plugged in multiple spots for defense and I guess a little bit of offense, too, in certain areas. And Andre Drummond is my rebound specialist. And J.J. Reddick, we all know what J.J. Reddick can do. So in all honesty, is everybody f- happy with their team? Do you I legitimately no. think you have the best team at the no, table? No, I, I really feel like if we had a list of all the pool pl- or the pool of players and we could just see him come off the board and we could see, oh, he's still up there. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times you might I hear a name. What y'all, I, thought that's what I had a big-ass yeah, pool. Too. I thought that's what everybody was doing while we, pre- we prepared for this like two weeks ago. We knew he was doing this since damn near Christmas. Yeah, but I also, you always don't know who's still going to be up there. Right, that's why you make you the pool of it. players. <laughs> I guess. Because I thought that's what everybody was doing. Because he he even asked, like, wait, how many players are we mm-hmm. doing? Like, three mm-hmm. days ago, like, mm-hmm. it's 12, right? So I'm thinking well, he's doing that while creating a pool of players. No, mm-hmm. I did as just drafted first LeBron, <laughs> second Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> like, so those players wouldn't even be that, to think that that would be even possible is just wild. So the way I did things, so there was going to so be 48. have the mm-hmm. first 12 picks. <laughs> <laughs> I d- that sounds like you didn't think it was going to be a draft. We were just trying to build the best team regardless and let the fans decide, right? I thought we were just like legitimately coming out here and just ranking oh, the top like 12 players. Oh, all decade. Yeah. You're all that, decade team. That, yeah. would, that wouldn't be a draft. Yeah. The draft is literally, I take him, he's gone. So what I did was I, there was going to be 48 total picks of players, so I had a list of 50 players. And then obviously players like Danny Greens or Cal Corver that didn't make my list ended up being drafted. So some of the guys that did not get drafted that – that sh- maybe shouldn't have, but were in there. Mike Conley, Steve Nash, John Wall, Jason Kidd, Darren Rajon Williams, Rajon Rondo, Rajon Rondo uh, DeMar DeRozan, Lou Will, Damn Howell. Paul Pierce. Eh. Uh, Al Horford. <laughs> Al Horford uh, DeAndre Drummond. Powell I mean, DeAndre, Dr- DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Drummond sounded like a monster on the board. <laughs> <laughs> DeAndre Jordan was like first team all NBA Tyson a couple of times. Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler's a year. Pal Gasol, NBA champion. Yeah, I don't know how Pal didn't get picked up. I would have picked him up. He just didn't fit. Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Um, How hungry are you? Oh, uh, best team besides mine. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go with Contreras. Thank you. I like Mike's you. a lot though. Mike's Mike's is a lot better than I thought when while he was reading it. Um, I like Contreras' team just because it gives me options. That's what I want to do with my team. Mm-hmm. Like his starting lineup probably probably wouldn't be my starting lineup, but I feel like no matter what, I can put something on him that I'm happy with. Like starting with Kevin Durant. And James Harden is is perfect, and then you just build around there. Some lineups you can have Dirk be your five mm-hmm. if you're trying to score. Some lineups you can have Jimmy Butler. You can have James Harden as your one. Jimmy Butler as your two. Kevin Durant as your three. You know what I mean? Giannis can be the five. Uh, you can have Jokic out there. You can have Bradley Beal. Then no matter what you start, your bench could still have Jokic as your center, Dirk as your power forward, Jimmy Butler as your small forward, Bradley Beal, and then mm. Russell Ru- Westbrook or Kyle Lowry. Mm. So it just gives you options, and that's what I think I've provided myself with. Um, hey. Mike, let, can I see the list of your team, Mike, so I can look at it? Yeah. Because I like your team as well because – I think you have clear defined roles. There is no yes. confusion. Yes. And you have Greg Popovich as your coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you have Greg Popovich as, as your, uh, it's the last twelve. Yeah. You have Greg Popovich with a team like this. Chris Paul. There's no misunderstanding. It's Chris Paul running the show. Kawhi can play off of Chris Paul. Kawhi is going to uh, can can defer to Chris Paul. It ain't gonna be no ego clash. A lot of those are low maintenance dudes. And then um, facts. I see that. Defensively, Marcus All defensive player of the year. Kawhi is defensive player of the year. Draymond is a defensive player of the oh, year. Oh, I didn't even peep that. So okay, you have three defensive player of the year. Okay, okay. Um, you have three. You have some floor spacers like JJ Redick and Kyle Korver that you can plug in with both units. So my, my question: Why are you starting Kyle Korver over JJ? I think a that's bit more the, sad. He picked them first. Oh, okay. Oh, because yeah, the size I'm, too. Yeah, Kyle Korver is like six, 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 seven. I would start yeah, JJ Redick. I would start JJ Redick too personally. Because you, you do have Chris Paul who defends and then Kawhi to defend. So you don't have to worry about J.J.'s size. He can just be a good team defender, which is what he is. Yeah. My only thing is, 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 is Blake Griffin in this starting lineup, if it's going to be a starting lineup. I maybe will go, oh, oh, you can start, Blake. Can I, start thought, Blake. I thought it would be better to start Blake Griffin and Marcus, Scott, Marcus Saul instead of Blake Griffin and Tim Duncan. Because Marcus Saul can stretch and a little honestly, bit. Honestly, yeah, I, I would do Draymond Green I was thinking Draymond too, but Blake Griffin's a much more better uh, 
But Draymond be that um, play making off the bench. You could, yeah, but you could also have lineups with Draymond and Blake are in your front court. Yeah, That's yeah. Another game. And you now you just got switchability everywhere. And then Derek, you know, <laughs> you got no. the worst team, buddy. You got the worst team. <laughs> do you think you got the worst team? No. Okay. Who who do you think has the worst team? Uh, maybe Mike. Why Damn. do you think your team is better than Mike's? I think I got the. I don't know. I like my starting five. I think my starting five is so solid. I think the should one... Should we... We should throw them all into 2K. We should. <laughs> Give them the I right coaches. I think my only question mark is Danny Granger. And Zebo. Can I see your roster? Zebo. Zebo. I never... Zebo was a bad... Zebo was... I never would have thought of it. Was, it, was, it, it was okay, but... This is my thing. You don't see anything wrong with Andre Iguodala. No. So, when can you tell me your starting small forward? Kawhi. Ka- uh, my starting small forward is Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. LeBron. Yeah. He doesn't hold he he's not even in that stratosphere. I know, but he defensively he can guard those guys. I needed somebody in my lineup that, I see can that really though. guard those guys. That's what I'm say. He is, and then he also he's the LeBron stuff. D Wade. That's his nickname. Slower downer. Stuff D Wade and Iggy. Yeah, so, he slowed him down. He didn't stop him. He slowed yeah. him down. LeBron stopped him. And then also those three guys are like top of the they always uh, like top of the league in steel. So there's gonna be a lot of turnovers for us between Steph, D Wade, and Iggy. That's a a lot you of turnovers. Your case. You speak your and case. And then Anthony Davis is the lead rim protector. I'm definitely throwing these teams in two, 2K. I mean, Screenshot your he, team and throw it in the through the wire. Let me hear your, your two and three, though, P. I'm, my two and three? What, who's your starting two? Was it Clay Thompson? Clay Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, I'm going with P, P team. Like, having LeBron James your point guard and then Clay Thompson yeah, and I would PG, also go P team. That right off the bend is. Right yeah, I was going to go P team right just because LeBron's bat. at the one. That's that's dead. And you ended with Luca, who hasn't even been an all star. We're going to throw these in 2K. And I'm I'm gonna send y'all the screenshots or whatever. Did you pick your favorite team? I said P. So P got the votes. Yeah, just because it's the best fit for LeBron James, and LeBron's at the one for me. I think the way you built around LeBron was perfect. I think I would have went a similar route than what you did. Because we did think Clay was picked early, but when we look at it, like it's beautiful. Because I would have definitely picked Clay ass up like a round later, honestly. Because he just plays his role to perfection. Clay early, man. Because somebody go get him, and then you go regret it. Because I'll take Clay over Dwayne Wade this day, personally. But it's up to the fans. It's up to the fans to decide. I don't. What's the it's prize? Two K. Two K too. What, what's the prize, y'all think? I don't know. We ain't, we ain't got money like that to just be giving out prizes. But just to say that you drafted the best team of the decade, I guess. And get bragging rights. Bragging rights until the ten years from now we donuts. do this draft again. Bring also it, vote for who donuts. got vote for who had the worst team. Donuts. Like, I think donuts. Well, I guess we can find out who had the worst team by they, the, least the least amount, amount of, of votes. votes. Yeah, least amount of votes. Yeah, and comment who had the worst team. Best team, <laughs> do the order. Number one, two, three, four. It's Facts. Simple. Hierarchy. Yeah. So, thank y'all so much. This is the last episode of the, dec- the decade. You guys have been great for us for three years. Uh, announcement for all of y'all that got to this point. We will be back with House of Highlights for 2020. Uh, shout out to House of Highlights. We inked that new deal. Shout out to us. for We, we worked our ass off for the last two and a half, three years or however long it's been. We don't take summers off. We no. We y'all what y'all want in the off season. Not a lot of people that do that. We out, though. Peace.